How's it going everyone? So iOS 18.5 is now officially released on any iPhone that supports iOS 18. So yes, the compatibility list hasn't changed. If your iPhone can run iOS 18, you are able to update to the latest version of iOS 18.5. And so in today's video, I'm gonna go ahead and share with you all the new changes, software improvements, and talk about future features that's coming out in the near future for possibly iOS 19. And of course, timestamps and everything will be in the description down below for your pleasure. Let's begin. So here we are, came in a large, almost eight gigs, about for an iPhone 16 Pro. And then we have it installed right here on our main device in general, software update. And there we go, iOS 18.5. So one of the new changes can be located in actually the settings tab. You see in here, if we scroll down into the general tab, there's now an Apple care and warranty section. This has been redesigned because as soon as we load right here, it'll give you all the additional information from all your Apple warranty status, if it's eligible or not, or it's limited warranty like my iPhone 16 Pro. I know it says 15, I accidentally renamed it 15 Pro just to keep it compatible with my vehicles. But here you can actually like actually go in and, and see what it covers and what it doesn't cover. And you could talk directly to Apple support from here. So this has been totally redesigned with a new logo over here on top from Apple. Now, if you have the back tap functionality enabled on your iPhone, when you tap the Apple logo three times, it will do like an action. You can have it so there's a banner that will pop up automatically. You see, by going into, let me start over, in the setting tab, and you scroll down into accessibility, and you go down to touch, all the way on the very bottom, tap back tap, right? You can enable a banner to actually appear now whenever you do an action. So now, if I tap three times, a little status will pop up telling us that back tap has been enabled. So we have the new show banner ability right there. And for back tap, again, it's like a shortcut that you can enable based off tap motion from the internal sensors, where you can have it to do other things like open up app switcher, camera control, flashlight, home, take screenshot, and it just goes on and on. But now you, Apple re-enabled the banner functionality, which was a part of the beta of iOS 18.4, and now they permanently added it. Another thing that was updated is the Apple Invite app. As a part of Apple Notes was that this app is now more stabilized, for iOS 18.5, but in terms of new features, I personally didn't see anything new that get added. Everything's basically very similar to, like, to how it previously was. But I'm curious, how many of you guys are actually using the Apple Invite app? I'm personally not really doing it. A simple email invitation is boring enough that I just get synced to my calendar. And then if you're somebody who uses the Apple Arcade app, in the Arcade, they're actually adding Uno arcade onto this and much more you see if we go on google real quick and just type in apple arcade june 5th you'll see on the top portion over here will take us to apple's direct website displaying a couple of new games that are coming out probably the one i'm planning on possibly playing with my friends and family is uno now since we did enter pride month if we lock our device and we long code and we go all the way to the far right to add like a wallpaper if we go down Here's the new Pride Month wallpaper that we receive. Apple typically releases a new one every single year. And this is the design on this new one right here. It also applies on the Apple Watch as well. If your watch is on the latest version of watchOS, by long coding and going all the way to the far right, and you'll see it featured right here on the new watch phases. And here it is, the new Pride Month. It supports one complication, and uh, that's basically how it looks like. Not a bad design but very limited on customization. And over here, if we turn on always on display, if your iPhone supports it, this is how it looks like. It's pretty nice, definitely a lot different. And it does shift be between different designs as you're seeing it do right there. And additionally about this wallpapers, Apple also added a matching band for the Apple Watch as well. Apple does this again yearly. Now real quick, if you've been enjoying this video so far, if you could take two seconds to hit that like button on like, that would be truly appreciated because I like to keep these videos powered by you guys, the viewers, which is why you don't see sponsorships, segments, taking like a minute or two off your time to try to sell you like a VPN or some type of nonsense subscription. So thank you to those that continue hitting the like button like and continue supporting the channel that way. Now let's carry on. Now the next new change can be located in your mail app. You see, by launching the mail app, I'm gonna to have to cover this up because uh, personal information, don't wanna leak anything out. But I don't know if you can see this, there's a little glance right here on the, on the right side showing us that there's some additional options over here. So that's been tweaked and added. Additionally, if you tap these dots 
next to the select, you now have the ability to show contact photo or no contact photo. So that's a few mail enhancement features we receive for the default mail app. The next new feature can be located in your photos. By going to photos, if we go into our most recent deleted, originally we were supposed to have a recover all a feature right here enabled, but it looked like Apple took that out. Not sure why it was working fine when it was available during the betas, but it's not officially over here. So it looks like this is coming out in the next version of iOS. Not sure if it's going to be iOS 18.6. Most likely this will be a feature available in iOS 19, unfortunately. So that's been removed and it doesn't look like Apple has any plans on putting it back. And then if you live in the UK, message via satellite should be available in some regions over there now. So that's pretty cool. It's now becoming available worldwide. So if you don't have cellular connection, you still are able to get a hold of emergency dispatchers or communicate to somebody in case you just don't have any reception whatsoever, thanks to satellites. Additionally, there's a new feature that got added for Apple screen time. You see, if we go all the way to the very bottom right here in the main menu on our settings, scroll down to screen time right in here you will now get a notification when a shower uses a screen time passcode so now we'll be actually listed right here you can monitor that and then in the apple tv app we now have a buy with iphone which means you can now purchase content that's not strictly available on the apple tv with just your iphone so if we're buying something on here for on a third party device, you now can. And then in terms of Starlink ability, like T-Mobile right now does support Starlink capability. I used it on my iPhone. This is now compatible on the iPhone 13s now. So not just the 14, 15, and the 16s, but now the iPhone 13, even though they don't have the hardware, they should be able to connect to a Starlink satellite in case you need internet reception in case they're off the grid. And then a feature that hasn't been released but we were really thinking about it will become available on ios 18.5 unfortunately it is not because as soon as i plug in this device to charge there was rumors that it will display like the time to charge 200 percent on the very bottom like it would on other smartphone manufacturers as an example if i take my other daily phone and i go ahead and plug this in it'll actually tell me the time it will take to fully charge this device. Unfortunately, Apple is working on this, but it doesn't seem like it's available on iOS 18.5. Rumor has it it's likely to become available on iOS 19, unfortunately. And there we have it. Those are all the new things I got added on iOS 18.5. Let me know in the comment section which one of these features was your own personal favorite and what are some features you wish Apple add. Me personally, I would like to see that lock screen ability where I could see how long it will take my phone to charge at 100%. I think having an estimated on the screen will be very nice, but again, rumor has it, this will become available on iOS 19, unfortunately. But there we have it. Thank you so much for watching. And these two videos, top one is a video that YouTube is recommending specifically for you. And the bottom one is my most recent uploaded video as well. Thank you once more for watching.